people are dying from COVID-19. People are dying from other reasons. People are dying from drive-bys and other stuff. All I'm saying is people need to be closer to the people. Well, I had a kind of friend associate of mine that um, me and him had a fallout. And um, died recently. But uh, someone told me that he apologized and everything. And me, being too damn stubborn, not plied back or try to get in contact with him and say that I had forgave him a long time ago. But I just had a problem of trusting that they say that and then they're changing. But... Technically, the person was very concerned about it, and I didn't get a chance to tell him that I already had forgave him a long time ago. But my thing is, is if you care about somebody and if you're stubborn, think through what you're really mad about think through and at least hear the person out and at least and tell them that you forgave them because if they be taken out of this world today, tomorrow, or a week from then, it will be too late fortunately it's too late to tell that person that but when you die you know everything and see everything so I already know so I do not feel guilty because I already know with him passing away knowing that I forgave him and that I just wish that he would have heard me say it and stuff like that I'm the type of person I don't sit there and talk about somebody no matter what they did to me or anything harsh, I don't care what it is. I have never really talked to, like really bad stuff about someone that have deceased. For instance, one of my exes, he got with some other chick. Me and her even had a fight. Tanya Crawford. It was times that I tried to talk to her woman to woman to warn her what kind of type of person he was. You know, but, uh, you know, people being stubborn, you know, and, um, you know, when I guess when a new girlfriend meet or know the other girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, they don't want to believe that person. But I'm going to tell y'all now. Anyone to know her know this. I feel that he had something to do with it. And I definitely did not have nothing to do with it. I was like, damn. Was kind of shocked and thought it was crazy. But um I would say to her family that I tried to warn her time and time again about him. She did not want to believe me. She didn't want to hear it. So, I'm sorry she had to find out in the hallway what type of person he was. And I hope she probably told some of her family. Because he's no good. And only thing he liked to do is bash women. A lot like timing. So... Y'all probably can see why I don't like Tommy. Because he act a lot like my ex. In other words, he used to tell me they ain't have the right to say the word nigga. But anyways, this fucking crazy shit. But anyways, if y'all like my videos, like and subscribe. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot. And don't believe, and disbelieve, I am not young. Y'all have a nice day. My followers, love y'all.
if y'all want to talk about something put it in the inbox haters try not to say nothing hateful if you don't like my videos just don't watch them okay don't watch them okay because i really don't want to hear your opinion but if you do make an opinion and when i feel like it i don't care if it's a year month six months i don't care if i'm feeling something i feel that it needs to be said when i get the words to say what i have to say to you i will bring it up so therefore stay safe and everything and be careful everyone